back for another consummate opinion this is liege here what's up joyce whatever sweet uh the interns here mcbride's here yep you already heard show uh back from his uh what was it it's been four days since no wait it's been a little longer four i think f- it's no. been five days since we did a five, show but yeah, according yeah. to show it's been four days and we have another guest tonight uh a new one be uh grimace say hi grimace how's it going so uh the roller derby has been confirmed. Excellent From what news. we were talking about at the end. So on uh, August 24th, we will be doing a show from the roller derby in Pinellas Park. What's, in, what's the name of the place? Uh, Do you know yet? The place that it's at? Yeah. Astro Skate. It's at Astro Skate in Pinellas Park? Yeah, right, yeah. Good. It's on uh, 66th Street. The roller derby club is Deadly Rival Roller Derby, I think. Nice. Pretty Sounds cool. pretty hardcore. Um, and hopefully next week... I got to find out. I'll find out tomorrow. See Black if, Silk? Uh, yeah, we can get Black Silk on the show to talk about it. And uh, then hopefully we can get uh, Jay on as well. Yeah, it's in the works. Jay. He was going to be here tonight, but he has to eat dinner or something with his parents. From the almost. Oh. Good Moving. Talk. Moving on. All right, so uh, we'll, start <laughs> we'll start with the intern with what's new with you. Uh, here you go. Um, only one thing. I got a raise at work. Oh, good. Sorry, I wasn't holding the mic close enough to my mouth. We all heard you. That was good um, news. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, Big raise? Yeah, it's it's very a pretty significant raise, just because the company decided they wanted to pay everyone a whole lot more. Like um, a HJ raise or a BJ raise? What kind of raise are we talking about? Like a, it would be more of a BJ raise. All right, that's think. good. Yeah. That's a good raise. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking that's how she got it. That's it's at least <laughs> that's at least 15 percent. <laughs> that was so inappropriate. All right, so uh, moving on to Joyce, and I don't want to steal there any of his thunder. Uh, let's see, what's new Ooh, with me? I know the long. <laughs> uh, it's Liege, though. Um, <laughs> let's see, it's what's never new? Never gonna stick. I, I already, <laughs> I already said the uh, roller derby thing. Uh, let's see, uh, intern and I. What? The hole. Oh, did you fill the hole in? Well, I was gonna, did she just thunder. steal yeah, now, the news? Now, now shows thunder's been sold. I wasn't yeah. even going to say that. I forgot about he it. He covered that four-inch hole that I was. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard to cover something that small, but. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Intern and I's one-year anniversary is coming up oh, next how romantic. Sunday, so it'll be about ten days from now. Wow. Mark your calendars, fans. Got re- reservations <laughs> made for Texas State Brazil. Very excited about that. Yeah. You lasted a whole year. What is that? Maybe what is a no kid? No kid. That's yeah. Impressive. <laughs> Surprising. Wow, that's yeah, awesome. It's got to be some kind of a record. Sweet. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you sure, you don't have any news in turn. No, no, she's got nothing. Um, other news with me. Let's see. I'm revisiting the idea about that PF Chang's thing in the Middle East. I'm revisiting. It. Revisiting it. Yeah. How so? Like I'm getting more information. Okay. Uh, even after I denied it the first time, I'm. I don't remember uh, this. Intern has more to say. You don't remember this? No, what is oh, this? Well, we'll talk about it in a second. Okay. Wait, what are you talking just, about? Just make sure that you're going to be making enough money to buy me an entire new wardrobe. Oh, you're going to open a B.F. Chang's in Asia? No, there's uh, <laughs> no Asia. No, the Middle East. <laughs> oh, Middle East. Like, like Kuwait. Oh, yeah. I was going to say a Chinese restaurant in Asia. I don't know if that's going to work. <laughs> yeah, I've I've actually never eaten at a P.F. Chang's. It's pretty good. It's no payways, but it's pretty good. I... Uh, they about April or May or so. I got something <coughs> through Career Builder. They were looking for um, assistant manager or something. Oh like that yeah, you were days. telling me about this. I and, do remember uh, this. They offered, you know, they made me an offer. It's similar to the money that I was that I'd be making now, but what I'm not looking at is the fact that uh, over there it's tax free. Yeah, and, and so you're it's in actually like making about eighteen thousand so. dollars more a year, year. Kuwait. That sounds cold. <laughs> <laughs> you're still gonna have to pay taxes on that. Kuwait? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like not having my What, are you going to smuggle $20,000 um, back into the country? In your asshole. I mean, yeah, we, we can do that. All right. One pound of so cash. Over there, you basically, because they all live a certain way. So even being American and going over there, you basically have to be Muslim. 
or you have to follow their rules. You have to do everything that they do. And if you don't, you'll end up on my tablet with mm-hmm. your head being cut off. Yeah, yeah. I will show yeah. it to them on the show. That's pretty much how it goes. But he's super excited. He loves Arabs. Yeah, they're yeah. Arabs. I haven't heard that in a while. It's usually Arabs, but Arabs. <laughs> Kinda no, like, I kind of like Venom, but what, we're good with that. Venom. What, what I saw was that the uh, if you if it's under ninety thousand dollars a year that's coming back into the United States, it is not taxed. That's interesting. Good to know. But uh, other than that, let's see if there's anything else new with me. I don't think so. When would that be, and for how long? I don't know. Yeah, I have. Has he brought I anything have. about Kuwait up before? I have heard about this. Oh, you must uh, it was Dubai, actually. It was originally Dubai. 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 Um, and Dubai. Uh, but uh, they switch it to Kuwait, so. Is this a pre-existing restaurant? Yes. Whoa. And? I don't, mm-hmm. I don't understand what's I don't know where that was going. But what do you mean? I, I'm just asking if it's a pre-existing uh, restaurant. Apparently, like, if you look up PF Chains oh. Kuwait, there's, there's multiple addresses. As I'm sure everyone so. listening has done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PF Chains Kuwait, hot. Honey, Google. what should we Google? <laughs> well, PF Chains Kuwait, maybe? Sounds interesting. Yeah, there, there's a. If you look, the, this company that owns them owns like the Cheesecake Factory mm-hmm. and a shit, every mall shit restaurant ton of other imagine. things over there. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's anything new. I'll probably think of something else towards the end. But McBride, cool. Um, what's new with me? Nothing really. Zero hour for school is approaching. Uh, buying all my books and stuff, <laughs> dude. Finding all these like eighty and hundred dollar books on Amazon for like eight dollars, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I used to buy my stuff textbooks.com or half dot com. Yeah. And I'm Prime, so it's all free shipping. It's great. Um, sad news, Landon Donovan, the most memorable American soccer player of at least the last decade, maybe of all time, is retiring at the end of this MLS season. He'll be and done. That's sad news for who? Shut up, you chainsaw head chopping off <laughs> fish worm watching weirdo. He does that tablet, you, Grimace, you might get sick over there from yeah, sitting next to that if tablet. If he taps your shoulder and says, hey, look at he this. He looks at some yeah. really bad word stuff. From, word yeah. of the wise, don't. Where, where do you get this stuff? You, you just do a Google website? search? Say the website. The I had some Y-N-C. bitchin' taco oh. salad tonight. That was good stuff. Homemade taco salad. You have to have a nice uh, uh, computer with some, sp- you know, so you don't get shit on your computer. Yeah, if you go on there and you don't have you some get kind of shit on your on computer? It's going to, it's going to... That's, you know, anti show. Watching a man's head be sawed off slowly. Um, it's awesome. Viruses oh, seem to appear onto yeah. your computer. So Weird. make sure you have like an iPad or something so they can't get Yeah, through. so you can just freely watch that shit in the bathroom and yeah. no one will bother you. A, no, we don't see the real world. Show, do you touch yourself watching that? Oh. Like I do. Oh. I do. All right, sweet. Quite often, actually. Oh. Pass the yeah. taco salad. Anything else? Um, no. No, that's it for me. I'm sorry. I'm just amazed that he could find it to touch himself. Oh. Wow. I, All right, I have so nothing. <laughs> oh, that's what she's getting at. <laughs> Literally. That's her point. All right, Grimace, what's new with you? Everything. Other Wait, than everything. How are you going to skip me when he's brand new? We usually start with Ethan. the brand new guys. Well, no, we were, we, no we were going in a, a circle. We, we always go in a circle. We always go in a circle. Yeah. Well, but while he does say what's new with you, he has to touch the tennis racket. Yep, that's the rule. All right, well, here we go. To, what? You have to, you just, you have to touch a tennis out. racket while you're talking. Don't so do it right away, but be in like the middle of a sentence. Never the fence it. from Jurassic Park. It's just like that. Just be the T-Rex. So like, you know, just got to get in between those, those horizontal you poles. Yeah, that's worse. It is a lot scarier. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, thinking about it is the so worst thing you could do. this is one of those mosquito net things? Finger yeah. Fingered banger is what we call it. Yeah. So awesome. what's new? Uh, new with me. Uh, well, everything from this show. Uh, getting in touch with some old friends I haven't seen in Long time. at least five years. Uh, well, you saw me last year. But. Well, yeah, I ran into you at the mall with your 16 kids. <laughs> Two. Nothing. You got to get in there. In the yeah, plank. get in it. In the oh, there it goes. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no, he no, did. No, he I did. smelled it. Oh, okay. Then you didn't see the spark? No. I smelled it. Sometimes when you touch it, it kind of fakes you out. So when you take your finger off, you just miss the spark, and it doesn't actually get you. Mm. It got him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it got me. I've been tased before. I saw, so, uh, I saw his that face. That's he, child's play. <laughs> I saw his face when he got zapped. He grimaced. It's not fun to uh, play with oh, tasers. Wow. Mm. Nice, pl- nice play with See words. See what I did there? 
That's going to be like your, your, your special phrase because you say it in every show. See what I did there? See what I did there? So I, that, that's, that's pretty much it. Nothing's going on. Just you worked a lot time. today, didn't you? You said? Oh, Bunch yeah. of hours. I worked with my brother at, a, at his, uh, his chip route. That's got to be frustrating, working uh, with your brother. Yeah, younger brother. Yeah. Yeah, he's the boss. It, it kind of sucks. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's your boss? Yeah. Tool time? Tool time is his boss. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. got to be terrible. It's I mean, it's, it's a job, and it's great, but how do you want not punch him? Uh, I just walk away. Yeah. It's easier. It takes, it takes he, a he powerful man. He usually goes and uh, you know, plays with the crackers, so he's in a different aisle. Now, do you mean crackers or white people? Both. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. his, well, he's, welcome he's, aboard, he's, Grimace. I appreciate it. He's down in uh, the Pasadena area, so uh, the... By Central St. Pete, kind of. Ish. Well, ish, yeah. I mean, it's uh, definitely uh, by the water, so the uh, view is always nice, uh, especially in the middle of the day. But that's Talk about the water view, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. It's, yeah, yeah. Just clarifying. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's about it that's going on with me. <laughs> All right, show. What's uh, what's new with you? Gained any inches? You gotta have at least four new things. I really didn't have anything. I just did. Uh, you know, he skipped me. I was mad. No, the, the hole in the side. No, yeah, well, you fixed the hole. That's new for you, but I didn't almost trip in it, so that's good. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? No, I just worked five out of six days, so I'm tired. And oh yeah, you know what's new? I saw your ass today when I walked. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's not new. Heard about every this. Every time you see me. I see your was ass it, and your was balls. It, I was going to say, was it just the ass or was it <laughs> I don't, balls It was balls? ass and balls, the goat. <laughs> I don't remember that. I was uh, just I laying there that. watching TV. Yeah, because yeah, he passed out from laughing. You were the couch or something because I saw your ass. I'm tired of it. Oops. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why I have to see this all the time. Come on. You know you love it. No, it's really sad because Sho has seen my fiance's ass more Probably than Probably equal to. That's true. It's got to be close. more still. Um, I, I bet you I've true. seen his balls in more foreign objects like stuffed peppers than you have. I guarantee oh, I you. In foreign objects? Oh, in food, in things, paper towel rolls. I used to do a thing at, uh, at work. Bubble gum at a, uh. And I used to do this thing at work where I would, I would be brain. like, hey, guys, check out the stuffed peppers. Wah. And I would we'd, uh, cut the top off and gut a green pepper. Yeah. And I would like put we'd my nuts gut it in and, and nut it. Just, like sit with the green pepper there. So it would be a I stuffed pepper. I, how did I not see that one? I don't know. I don't I know. We'll have to make that happen. Yeah. Hey, play your cards right. I've seen the brain. The night is young. Is. That's kind of the same thing. It's just four people know what the back yeah, is. It's a brain. It's together. just contained with a green yeah, pepper. Yeah, it's the brain in a green pepper. You've got to have some big ass balls to make a brain. I, yeah. remember, I remember coming home from a day at work looking over the second story and uh, seeing the goat through the second story window at the Oh, off oh, of uh, okay. that was so that's a second wow. man that you've that was, shown the goat to anymore. That was at oh, least what eight years ago, men. nine years ago. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a support group in Upper Tampa. <laughs> yeah, the the other guy that was your roommate, what was his name? Bulldog. 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 Yeah, no, he's he's seen him a whole bunch of times. Oh yeah, we were so all now, roommates at I the same time. <laughs> I have a question, McBride. Have you ever seen my nuts? I don't know. Uh, come on, no. have you? Have you uh, seen? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 oh yes, wow! I have. Uh, Grimace, you've not seen you. nuts. Uh, no sir. This room has not seen. Are you nuts. sure you've never g brained or any? I uh, never uh, once. No, I don't brain. Nothing. No. My it's personal favorite is impossible. the fruit roll-up. You ever done that one? No. Where you pull them back between your legs and press them up against glass so it like fans out like a fruit roll-up? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. So, McBride, do those pine cones still smell? A little good? bit. Yeah. I noticed you eyeballing me smelling your pine cones yeah, earlier. Yeah, cool. I, I bought them last Christmas, yeah, so. Christmas. Yeah, it's, those things last a long time. Like, the super scent is gone after about three days. I love these things. I love the smells of Christmas. But, yeah, those forever. Mm. It's going to forever tainted by cinnamons. So that's it. That's all I got for what's going on. Uh, knowing Liege, that might have been up his ass. I, yeah, I should it. not have put that so close to my yeah, face. Yeah, that's all I got, man. I'm, I haven't really had anything new other than work and your ass. All right. Well, so what's not nothing new? new. <laughs> well, we'll, uh, we'll start with the weekly uh, per child left in car slash mother of the year. I have a couple mothers of the year. Okay. McBride's got uh, a grandmother. Grandmother of the, of the human existence. Uh, title, Mom left eight-year-old son in Mercedes while she drank at St. Pete Bar. Uh, she was charged with DUI and child neglect early Monday after police said she left her 8-year-old son in a Mercedes for four hours while she drank at a downtown bar. Offers res responded to the Trist Lounge. Offers. Yeah, she had several offers. <laughs> Officers. <laughs> hey, guys. That's what took her so long. Uh, officers responded to the Trist Lounge. 
Before he finishes, no more of the Phenom shit, all right? Oh, easy. Offers. Easy, Garabo. Easy. D no. Don't eat. No, I cannot <laughs> stand him. The officers responded around 3 a.m. So this lady was out with her eight-year-old in the car. Wow. From 11 p.m. Kids oh, probably kids sleeping. Probably three. sleeping. Yeah, kids probably well, sleeping. Well, the kid wasn't asleep when uh, when people were out there and the cops were there. Yeah, that's a good what, point. The drunk people at the same bar. I was gonna say, how does it take four hours for someone to see a kid in a car at a bar? Oh, it's night. It's three in the morning. Yeah. But still, I mean. You go looking in people's cars, weirdo. Listen. I do. Now, <laughs> this tells you he wasn't sleeping. Witnesses told police she had left the boy sitting alone in the car while she drank, and then he periodically came into the bar oh to God. look for her. And they still didn't call the cops. So this is like that little children's book, Are You My Mother? He's just a kid, three in the morning, walking around a bar. and Exactly. Are you my mother? Uh, the manager of the lounge said no employees saw her son or knew about the situation. Right. That's, uh, hey, uh, what about the grandma? Then I'll get to the next mom. Oh, this is, it's a terrible story. This literally ruined my day. It ruined about three hours of my day. Uh, all right, so Florida, Florida grandmother Strange. kills six-year-old boy. I know, you think it's bad. Wait till you find out who it was. All right, let's see what this bitch's name is. I'm going to tell everyone so we can find her and beat her up. All right, so Killer in Lakes. You ever heard of that? Killer in, Killer in Lakes, Florida? No. Oh, it's close to Tallahassee. Yeah. Mason Reinhardt and his brother were playing video games in their home Tuesday morning when their grandmother, Martha White, interrupted to say she had a surprise for them. I think we've all been there. That's normal. Usually oh, sweet it's toys. Cookies, dessert. brownies, something like that. Maybe a $5 bill. White, 63, who had been babysitting the boy, then took six-year-old Mason into the bathroom and locked the door behind her. A probable cause, affidavit said. Mason's brother, age eight, heard him start to cry from behind the door and say, I don't want to die. Please don't kill me. So eight-year-old brother said he tried to get in the room, but he couldn't, so he called his dad. Five minutes, first responders around the scene, found the little kid laying on the bathroom floor, multiple stab wounds in the chest, dead. White had left, nowhere to be found. Uh, the little boy said she left the home with a bottle of wine, but not before telling him she had a surprise for him, too. Deputies identified her. She was down on the end of the street somewhere, blood all over her with a bottle of wine and a Xanax. So I, I think it's safe to say if there's one person on the planet Earth who shouldn't, you shouldn't be worried is going to stab you to death, it's Grandma. Did right? they say that she was, like, was she mentally? They took her to the hospital for psychiatric evaluations, which I hope means repeated beatings with hard, sharp objects. I mean, you would think that the parents or, you know, the dad or whoever's mom that she When was, asked why know. she did it, I guess she said, and I quote, I was fed up. Wow. Yeah, she was Kill fed yourself, up. Not no, kids. just leave. Don't have to even kill yourself. Just, just leave. Go out. Yeah. You know, that's what I do when I'm fed up. That's why your brother's probably still alive. You just walk away. Walk away. It's the easiest. So next time I say I'm fed up around someone, you better walk I'm walking out. away. If I hear someone say that, it's time to leave. But honestly, how, can't you imagine that? Any any part of this story. Grandmother kills grandkid. That's ridiculous. Six years old, stabbed to death. That's unbelievable. Eight-year-old brother had to listen to his little brother get murdered and then watch his bloody grandma come out and say, I have a surprise for you. I mean, not in the same sense, but you know what? That kind of reminds me of that uh, movie, Road to Perdition. Oh, fantastic where the one film. brother yeah, great movie. saw the other brother get killed. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite my movies. Mom, I think it was, actually. Uh, next story, Florida woman. So there's the bum out for the show. We got that out of the way. Uh, I think the bullying and suicide stuff is going to probably... Uh, <sighs> It'll be close, but that's pretty bad. Oh, that's another thing, The what's new. The new logos on the page. Yeah, they're up, ready to be liked and, and made your computer desktop wallpaper. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Florida woman accused of smoking crack while breastfeeding baby. Jesus God in heaven. Said so Daytona Beach woman uh, was arrested Wednesday morning for allegations of breastfeeding her infant daughter while smoking crack cocaine. Let's see. Why do, they, why do people call it crack cocaine? Can't we just call it crack? I think we, we know it's derived from cocaine. Because it's not cocaine. Like, you don't see crack... I mean, it is, but it isn't. It, you know what I mean? It is it's exactly. There's a certain clientele, though. There's a certain clientele that purchased crack versus cocaine, be it they're the same thing. It's like oil and gas. I ain't buying barrels of oil, but I'm buying gas. I don't know. I, I, guess, just, I mean, I, don't I, know. I guess that's true. I don't know where I was going with that. Continue. Uh, <laughs> um, the lady who called to turn this, uh, turn this person in said that she had no food, empty baby bottles, no clean diapers, describing the baby as looking sweaty, hot, and hungry. 
Uh, the witness said that Williams, the lady's name was Williams, wa- admitted to using the drugs while breastfeeding. And let's see. So she got caught doing it? Or yes, by a witness, not by the cops. Gotcha. Um, the f- official determined that Williams wasn't no. fit to keep the child, <laughs> but she resisted officers' attempts to take her one, one month old Oh, my baby, God. Squeezing the child so hard the baby couldn't breathe until off- officers managed to pry shoot, her away. Shoot the mother at that point. It, I mean... You're she killing your well. kid. She might as well just give the baby crack. I mean, it's going straight into its system. Absolutely. So, you said this was Pasco County? Daytona. 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 Don't Those be knocking Pasco. Remember, Florida County. We don't have to knock Pasco. It does knock a great enough job on its own. You got you to gotta check Pasco County Slam Book. It's good stuff. He's just know, he's not talking. He's, he's, he's looking up his. His mic is on. He's just looking at very demented. Soft-spoken. Yeah, he's looking at demented videos, getting wood, or yeah. toothpicks over there. <laughs> I have one for you here. Oh, show. I'm not soft-spoken. watching that. What is it? You gotta hear this guy what is it? I don't want to hear people scream. I've got, you've got to hear this guy scream. He God. says. We're, you know what's gonna happen? Mm-hmm. You heard it here first, listeners. We're gonna be reading a story about Florida man, and it's gonna be this guy right here. Who? Show. Show. Yeah. Florida man snaps after watching demented videos at school. All right, so next one. This the is. What the hell is that? Somebody's this is out of. It. That's fucking gross. What is that? What the That's hell disgusting. state is this? Nobody wants to hear when he yells. Nobody wants to hear it. Oh, my goodness. What's the story? All right, I'm, assuming this, is, uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is in Illinois. Yes, what it is. All right, okay. so. Exactly. For more than a year, an elderly Illinois man who carried a portable oxygen tank and rode around in a motorized scooter allegedly put sewing needles inside packaged meat sold in shops and save grocery store. What a dickhead. And when when asked about that, he said, I just did it for the hell of it. Okay. And then he also told agents, it was it was stupidity. I didn't really want to hurt anybody. What's that? Well, Well, I believe the stupidity part now. So don't so put the needles in the meat if you don't want to hurt somebody. Because that makes sense. At least it didn't put like. At least it wasn't like. Yeah, at least it wasn't needles. HIV positive needles or something. So he had sewing needles, like uh-huh. the, little, the tiny ones that don't have. Yeah, an just end randomly on them. stuck the them in the meat. The ones you don't ever want in your Pop mouth. In there. Yeah, just yeah. randomly in meat. Okay, right, I know that. I don't know when I it. cook. Usually, either a if it's like beef, you're breaking it apart. B, you see if there's holes in the hey. wrapping. Needle. A, no a thanks. Needle, a little pinhole in the cellophane. I mean, I think you one's gonna really sneak by. Because the one's gonna sneak by, and it's yeah, gonna it's ruin your day. I promise you. Imagine biting down on a taco and. Okay. Well, oh, you needle. See, like, around meat like that, what I mean, you should be able to see it? a needle in it. You know? I would hope so, but. But you're talking about like a big ass like T-bone. It. You're not gonna yeah. really find it. You okay, know? if it was beef, there's no excuse people shouldn't be able to find a needle. What if it's in steak? Room. What if it was like a big old T-bone? If it's though? steak, then I like can see that. Yeah. No. Yeah, totally. That would be horrible. I mean, he was charged with. Is sticky there? needles in meat packages on seven separate occasions beginning last May. Six of them were discovered discovered by customers, and one was spotted by an employee. Did they say how they caught them? Uh, let's see. One of them was found in boneless chuck roast. I mean, so that's a big chunk of meat. Yeah, that's that's something mm-hmm. you don't tear apart until you're done that's cooking a good, it. That's a good stew cut. Uh, what was your question? How did they catch him? Did they say? Uh, customers turned it in, and an I, I, uh, employee found it. Nice. Busted. Really, uh, yeah, he was seen on surveillance footage frequently handling meat packages that he would not purchase. You know and the guy from CSI Miami would say right now? No. After he puts his sunglasses on? Looks like he got caught poking in where he shouldn't have been. Poking around where he shouldn't have been. Yeah! I've never watched that show. Well, you've seen the stupid memes. Never watched memes. that show? Never watched that show? Miami's not that great. It's on like every other channel you've never accidentally no. turned on you've it. seen never. a csi though the original I've, yeah, one, yeah i've never yeah i've, I've, I've never, never seen wo- new york with sinise i've never seen that one which one's the one with lo cool j los angeles i don't even know yeah, i believe i believe so all right next one uh this is the title it's from smoking gun okay dumb 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 woman posed for photo with stolen credit card <laughs> i saw this using that's an probably idiot. Dumb, 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 dumb. just so you know since you wanted to spell it out. Dum, 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 dum. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, so a woman, now this is in Florida, classic. They're just really dumb. A woman who went on a shopping spree using a stolen credit card actually posed for a photo 
The clerk. It was his idea. The clerk but yes. did this. Uh, with the with the plastic, after a Florida store a clerk came suspicious when the woman was unable to pr- provide a state identification card, so she couldn't provide an actual state ID card. When she provided a photo of her bearing the name that was seen on the credit card, which is probably printed out on the yeah, computer on with a Photoshop, sharpie on something it, something like that. See, it is me. Now this was in Ocala. Shocking. So being that the the store employee didn't feel comfortable with the transaction, he requested to take a photo of the subject with the card. Because who in their right mind would agree to such an image if they were engaging in a felony credit card fraud? It's true. Only a As seen true above, moron. The shopper agreed. <laughs> she has a big grin on her face, oh, yeah. too. She's going to have a big grin in jail in a minute. That's with a stolen credit card. I read that a couple days ago. Did they catch her? Did it update or anything? Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. sure they will. Oh, for sure. She, uh... Well, I mean, as of a couple of days ago, they haven't. They'll catch her. The credit card was stolen last month from a 74-year-old woman who had shopped at Walmart, and the victim contacted the cops after noticing the fraudulent transactions on her credit card. About $430 was spent at a beauty store. Well, it ain't helping from that uh, picture. Some other things. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't helping too much. Yeah, she's pretty rough. Haggard. She's what we would call a Merle. Oh, man. See what I did there? Next one, woman kicked off U.S. Airways flight after obscenity-laden outbursts. And there's uh, actually, you were telling me about there's this. There's actually video of this. Do you have it? Yeah, I've got the video. I could get it up here. Yeah, you'll be better on that side getting the video. A woman was kicked off a U.S. Airways flight for screaming obscenities at the crew during boarding of a flight to Portugal. Uh, according to the New York Daily News, Mike Irving, a music video director, was on a flight from Philadelphia to Lisbon and filmed the incident on his iPhone. So this is the video that we're going to end up seeing. If I can find it. She, ah, you'll be able to find it. Now, Irving also posted the video to Reddit's videos for him and explained more of what he wis- witnessed. This is what he said that she was mad about. She came on the plane yelling and swearing about how we are going to Portugal and not Brazil. So she's mad after she boarded, boarded a plane that was going to Portugal and not Brazil. Of course, those countries are very similarly located. You know, right next to each other, of course, across the Atlantic Ocean. So she's mad. She continued being loud and obnoxious, and I'm assuming that some of the families with younger children told the flight attendants who then called police. She then uh, claimed that she was being harassed uh, by being taken <laughs> off the plane. Portugal and Brazil, neighbors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, they're both, they both speak Portuguese, but that's about the closest thing to... There's got to be 10,000 miles in between those two countries. Has to be. Easily. Are you pulling the video up? Yeah, I got it here. You ready? She sounds sober. Did he just? No, 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 they were boarding. Did he just say, uh, "I'm going to take you like the fuck off the plane"? Isn't that what he just said? Uh, I believe so. Oh, there's a nice view of a little eight-year-old girl with her ears covered. She's pretty intense right now. As she walks by, like a seven-year-old girl who's covering her ears. The mom's looking at her like, yeah, cover your ears. Well, it's very similar to the uh, couple having sex on the beach. Dude, she was real drunk. Well, and apparently the whole thing was because she was mad about the whole being at the... I mean, if you're buying the ticket to the on the plane that you got on, shouldn't you know where you're going? Doesn't it usually say it somewhere, you know? Yeah, interesting interesting yeah. side note on this story. When I was looking for it... Oh, that was disgusting. A story came up that says, U.S. Airways tweets out photo of naked woman with a toy airplane shoved up her lady cockpit. I'm pretty sure we had this on a show not too long ago. Well, <laughs> no, actually, it has been a while. It's probably towards the beginning of the year. It's probably been a Oh, probably she's like six, just sitting months. there with a Boeing 777 just right in her hoo dilly. Oh, show's perking up right it now. It says, Mayday, oh. deploy oxygen masks. <laughs> show's perking up. Did you see that photo? No, but it's uh, right there. This what do you mean you just heard a gunshot? It's fireworks. Yeah. A gunshot. 
I'm posting this to the site. This is good. How do you know it's a gun? No, but the food's fucking lining up fireworks right now. They've been so lining up fireworks outside? in my neighborhood for like six months. So I'm going to stay in here. Some redneck shooting off a gun. That's a very good point. That's called It is fireworks. Pasco County. Uh, I like how... Posting that on the page now. I like how you... What, that picture? Yeah, this, yeah, is, this can't be missed. Before, but I mean, I it can't hurt to be on there again. I, I don't think so, because I, I looked through the, the page and I didn't see it on there. Now that we finally have more listeners and more uh, people on there, speaking of which, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube page and like, uh, like the Facebook page uh, and the Twitter account and all, all that other shenanigans. Nonsense. Yeah, that 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 photo. Oh, there's actually, the lady. I I came with the across. Card. You see her? I came across that photo. <laughs> that shitty man. You what? I came across that photo on accident. With so did he. Oh, the that. credit card lady? No, no, no. The the crash landing. Thing, yeah. A crash landing. All right, I got another one here for you. A man, 37, had sexual relationship with 16-year-old girl. And where? I oh, well, um, did everyone hear? Here, where I told you. No, I'm not looking at you for a reason. Uh, did There's everyone no reason hear where I said he met her? Or can we play a game like who, where do you think he met her? I don't know. Uh, I, I heard. You heard, so you can't play. Where do you I think he met her? I don't know. Facebook. Where do I think who met who? A 37-year-old man who had a sexual relationship with 16-year-old met her at? Church. School. Church, Church? is correct. Too. Church is correct. Yeah. So way to do it. Good answer. Good answer. It's like family feud. Good answer. Uh, Survey says uh, you do yeah, not get that. points for the quiz. No. He oh, um, he told deputies that he was in love with the teenager and planned to marry her when she turned 18. I believe that part of the story. Doesn't mean he isn't a creep. You know, I heard something on the radio today, and I don't know whether it was a joke or not, but supposedly like a, a parent can consent yes. to a child at 13 years old to get married. It's really 13? young. It's really young. I thought I, it was 14. I, I, like in Alabama it's like, you know, it's like Kentucky or something it's a like state, that. That's a, a state, state law, law, though, too. It's not yeah, that's everywhere. ridiculous, though. Well, I, mean, I think Texas is 12. Ugh. It's gross, isn't it? That, that is very gross. Yeah. Quite gross. You're, you're not no even done with consent on my part. Think about that. You have a daughter. Imagine saying, yeah, okay. I'll let you marry my 12-year-old daughter. After I cut your head off, then I'll then I'll, allow, I'll walk you down the aisle. Is everyone still alive in the local vicinity? Would she drop a deuce? No, no, no. Remember the, uh, <laughs> the gunshot, the gun supposedly. Oh, you were checking the gun. I'm sorry. I thought you were pooping or something. What did it sound like? It sounded like a bang. It sounded like a, it someone hit something. It was like no, it was okay, so we got firework, shot, gunshot, uh, gunshot and, and somebody hit something. It was a lot of noise. It was a noise. Why were we talking about decapitation when I walked well, We were talking about the legal age of consent to, like, marry off your daughter. And, like, I think in Texas it's, like, 12 or 13. It's disgusting. Okay. You grew in the city with decapitation. Yeah, and I said, yeah, you no. can marry my daughter, but no. first I'm going to cut your head off. There would be no conversation. He would be, uh, my 12 gauge would uh, I would be talking the room before he did. I'd be talking for him. He'd be like a puppet. He'd be, my yeah. hand would be up his neck hole. And you have kids? I have one daughter. How old is she? Up his neck She'll hole? Well, how did you get through to the, you had to cut, cut it off. Underneath no, I cut it. his head off. You missed that part yeah. of the story. Yeah, but I think so. I, the easiest way to cut someone's head off is to put your arm all the way up their butt. I think there is what show go. is getting at. I just at. wanted to get it out that way. I wanted to Ram a man deep, right there. there. That's a good okay. Indian name. Ram a man deep, and then. Beep, 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 beep. Wow. All right, I got another one for you. Okay. And then we'll get to our last like big three. Okay, waiting. Primed and ready. Actually, let me copy the big let me four would have been more appropriate, but that's okay. Oh. Well, I mean, if you big. include this story, oh, we're down to the big four. The big four. See what you say about this show. Title of the story. So that's why Trader Joe's wine is so cheap. Apparently, Trader Joe's has like two and three dollar bottles of wine. And like that's one of their what biggest bargain. sellers there. Well, apparently the reason why is this one company bought this um, 35,000 acres of land in uh, California and planted a bunch of vines. Well, what they did, instead of hand-picking, because they don't pay to hand-pick okay. the good grapes. Do you wait till they fall? No, what they do is they're machine harvested. Okay. That means these large tractors with huge claws go down the rows of vineyards, grabbing the va grapes. Shake the shit out of it. And depositing them I in know a where huge this is receptacle. Going. And it not only grabs ripe grapes, but unripe and downright rotten ones as well and throws them all together. Yeah, and bugs. Add to that the leaves, stems... And any rodents, birds, or insects that may have been in those vines, 
that that those vines have been their homes. They Relax. all get thrown into the all ground. natural flavor enhancers. Awesome. Protein. So, yeah, extra protein, extra flavor, yeah, less one cost. One bird for what? A thousand gallons? You're not gonna. Bird wine. That. I'll drink well, some bird I mean, wine. I guess in a way it's kind of like milk with all the drops of blood yeah, and pus and, uh, exactly. and, and disgustingness. Cow nipple stuff. I still don't know if it's a scientific I mean, thing. But who knows? Might not every, know what that is. Every kind of wine could be like that, I guess. If you of think of course about it, it is. Look at the government mandated the like the quality control standards for well, food do, and they, drink. They do have. Like, They're all disgusting. On well, yeah, and on that's certain your, high end wines. Yeah, that's your super and They actually wine. use the uh, uh, rotted wine for certain types of. I, I believe it's a dessert wine. If I remember table wines correctly. and dessert wines. Yeah. Right. They're super sweet. Yeah, dude. The more rotten fruit is until it's actually rotten, the sweeter it is. Yeah. You know, I never knew this. Okay, never mind. I'm stealing the intern's thunder here. Hold on. Hey, you, weren't, you weren't stealing the thunder. He just found out that I have some bananas on the counter and okay. they're rotting. And he goes, your bananas are going to go bad. I'm like, no, I need them to rot and be You relaxed. make shakes so and stuff? Banana bread. Banana yeah. bread. There you go. Grandma I, I don't eat that. a banana unless it's got bruises and stuff all over it. They're yeah, way it's tastier. It's sweeter. They That's banana better. bread is the best way when it's all bruised up and stuff. Yeah, used to you give all. to they're like black. And I want to, I mean, it sounds bad, like almost molding. Though. No, no, it's the best way to make banana bread. about yeah. molding, but. I actually just read a story about bananas that the more black and bruised and super, super ripe they are, there's some new antioxidant or something in it that only happens at that point that's good at preventing cancer and fighting off cancer. Nice. So bananas, you heard it here. Eat them. They're good for you. This are you, week. Are you all for playing the quiz? I hope so. Okay. So you're judge, jury, and read I am. I got this. You got the next story? Is this the f second of the big four? The second of the big four. So we're halfway up the big four. All right, you're going to like this. Five reasons you should have sex with your husband every night. Okay. Show, so make sure when you go home. Five reasons. Some of us only have four reasons. Wow. That's pretty good. Oh, speaking of which, on the uh, gay talk, uh, Ethan tried out for the uh, um, Hell's Kitchen. Oh, okay. He actually tried out for Hell's Kitchen, and apparently he got a call back. So as of today or yesterday, it was today. He quit? No. He <laughs> said that uh, with the call back, he, he has like five weeks worth of taping in L.A. or something like oh, that. Oh, wow. I don't know exactly when it starts, but that's pretty cool. Very cool. How did he get on that? Call and ask. He just put in an application online. I mean, he, he has a very, you wouldn't be able to tell when he was here. He was very, like, quiet, but he has a very, like, outgoing personality. And Flamboyant, you might say? Yeah. Uh, Sure. Yeah. But yeah. True. Yeah. Okay. He's a ripe For fruit. Sure. So <laughs> he's a. <laughs> he's, he, he likes it in the poop shoe. Just banana. Say it. Bruised, oh, yeah. His banana is bruised. I assure you. <laughs> and Love you, Ethan. And receptacle. <laughs> I have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> All right. Here it is. So uh, here are the five reasons. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it goes into a lot. But it says, uh, being a mother, one of the ultimate expressions of womanhood, can often leave a, f a girl feeling stripped of her femininity. Okay. I said that right. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's good. Very so eloquent. the idea of getting sex, okay, it will help not only your man out, gotcha. but it'll help the chick out. I'm with you so far. The second one, if you want your husband to act like a man, you need to treat him like a man. It says, hold the eye rolls. I'm not pushing for a return to the 1950s. It says, women need any number of criteria to met, any number of criteria met to feel love. Men are far simpler. It's true. That's it. That's they need, need to be fed. They need to be in. We don't need fancy need things like sex. reading and grammar. We just want boobs and hoo hoo dillies. And biscuits. Number yeah, three. True. And Doritos. Says you need to have a moment in each day that is just about the two of you. No bills. No, no kids, homo. No homo. <laughs> yeah. That one's going to be hard for you. For me? Yeah. Number four sex relieves stress. True it story. Actually, stress reliever for yeah, sure. Yeah, Duh. Big time. That's my angle. Yeah, especially if it's a cream pie. Oh. Wow. Sensors. It straight to the... Sensors. Wow. A cream pie. Yeah, like oatmeal cream pie well, cookies. Yeah, those are good. I like those. Right out. Yeah, those why has it got to be a cream pie, though, in oh. that sense? Oh, why not? It's the best kind. Wow. Okay. But you're not allowed to do that anymore. And the last one... <laughs> Last one's not really a reason. It just says, it is so much blasted fun. No pun on the blast. Blasted. I like that. <laughs> pun Ugh. intended. Oh, man. They use that word on purpose. What, I'm blasted? Sure they did. You yeah. think? Great job, show. 
<laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> awesome job. <laughs> All right, next one. Oh, that's not is this the is this the tip of the f big four? <laughs> no, it's the three. Okay, so we're at the the crown. Yeah, it's about, uh, and I mean, I think you guys will have a lot to say about this. I know I do. Second American diagnosed with Ebola arrives in Atlanta, showing slow improvement. Yeah, this is bad news. I don't personally feel, I know they're American doctors or missionaries or whatever, but I'm not a, a, a fan that we're bringing people in who have Ebola, bringing yeah, them in. Yeah, I the see where your fears are. And Donald Trump just tweeted something about this. Did you see that? I did not. He's getting super heat from the fans. He said... Oh, I wish I could read it word for word. So he the says super something marks like, for Trump are giving Yeah, the marks for Trump are giving him heat. He's not yeah, getting well, CDC, any pop. I saw something that said that it's inevitable that we're going to get it over here. Oh, of course. I mean, it's, yeah, with air travel and how yeah, small the world is now. Mean, but he said something along the lines. He's like, right while people who go to other countries and, oh. and help out our great people, you can't let them come back. They need to suffer the consequences of their actions. So I mean, that is kind of a bad. And then the, the, like one of the first replies was, I think you're quoting Jesus who said, fuck them. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> they were over there. But I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, ha has the world never heard of the word quarantine? Like, yeah, they do it to you, animals. You fly them back, you quarantine them for no a month, cure, do right? your tests. There's no cure? Uh, I don't know. It, I think what I, I was know. reading in this, it said it doesn't say there isn't a cure. It says that there's things that can relieve symptoms, and make it better, and that supposedly Help you one survive of the people it. is getting better. So it kind of seems like there might be. They're working on some like super drug but or something. So like the that. days of the outbreak monkey are over. You know, so does that mean they're contagious for the rest of their life? Or it's well, it's a different kind know. of contagious though, because it's uh, it's not airborne. It's only so blood. You would actually it's have a bloodborne to, pathogen. Yeah, it would have to be blood saliva, unlike AIDS, where you can you drink fluids. like gallons of, of saliva to get AIDS. So you can actually can sneeze in the back yeah, of sneeze the and cough, share a drink. Well, yeah, if you swallow it. No pun intended. No. Which, which he usually does, from what I've been told. Oh, actually, I saw a joke. You'll you'll really think this is funny. I okay. Hope. Um, <laughs> Tell all great lady, comedians start their jokes. This, <laughs> this one lady goes, uh, oh, no, I've forgotten it. Oh. Says it, uh, sorry, uh, oh. This is really funny so far. Oh, damn it, no. It's about, you know how everyone swallows eight spiders in their life? Yeah. She goes, I'm, I'm uh, starting a new trend. I spit eight spiders in my oh, life. That's, or in terrible. Here. that's terrible. That's terrible. So, spit and swallow. Yeah, whatever. It would have been a lot better if I actually had the exact deal. Oh, damn it. All right, so intern, uh, in the... The bride the, uh, is running to the toilet. I got to pee, man. In the... Uh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Intern's got some. While McBride's gone, I have a question. Oh, jeez. No. Is, why she's directing this right to me. It's pointing right at you. Why don't you wear a wedding band? They don't make it big enough. <laughs> 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 well, uh, actually, now that you mentioned that, when I, when I got the ring, it was... It fit fine. And then I made a decision to drop some weight, and in the process, it became so loose that literally it would fling right off my hand. And then, of course, put all the weight back on, and my hand stayed skinny instead of putting my weight back on. So you never got it resized? I haven't got it resized. What about your wife? She doesn't wear one either. Uh, sometimes she does, but she doesn't wear it because she's, when she's at work, she has put, you know, she doesn't want to wear it at work. Yeah, my wife doesn't wear hers at work because uh, she wears gloves a lot. Uh, and, I'm at, and when I'm at the hospital working, and I'm constantly taking gloves off. It, it either catch, or when you gotta clean your hands, yeah. it, you can't dry underneath the ring. You gotta take it off. You gotta dry the well, ring. Well, I noticed it when we were at Disney. Actually, I saw neither of you wearing a ring. I'm like, aren't they married? You know, it's nothing personal. But it's weird how she would think of that right now. Mick. Well, she's been she's been looking at your deal. She's eyeballing the, the ring because yeah, they're getting ready. To, you know, they're probably gonna get. Mick, married, so. McBride doesn't. My, McBride wears a ring. He's not even married. I'm basically married. Mm. We will get married. We're just waiting to get I that big fat cash tax return for having a baby, and yeah. we're going to get married. Well, what'd you say? I think it's a promise ring from Ethan. It's a promise ring. You know, oh, I just like Ethan. to. <laughs> I'm oh, saving God. myself for the the star Ethan's of Hell's Kitchen. And be like, what's this with the homo shit? Well, yeah, well, because the last. It, I'm just going with the flow. I don't. Well, be well, the last that. time we talked about him and he heard about it was the fact when Friedman was here and talked about how uh, uh, Ethan was wearing an accommodator. <laughs> rented one for the weekend and uh, oh, had a masturbatorium and mouth hugs. And Accommodator all rental service. I think we've just struck gold well, there, I guess if Joyce. If comes back on, he's going to have to, you know, that'll come, be, he'll have to clean. talk about that. Did you, oh, uh, it's better than coming dirty. 
Did you uh, did you hear about the Maspatorium of the Accommodator yet? No. He's no. an avid listener. The Maspatorium is a tent-like structure you put over your waist so you can masturbate in public. You, you put your, your junk and hand left or right into it over a zipper flap, and you just sit there in public while you eat your grilled seat. You'll do grilled cheeses, and I guess apparently no one no one's wise to what you're doing. Huh. And the Accommodator is the rubber band strap around your neck penis-like thing that comes off your chin. You had to have Pretty seen that incredible. picture if you went through the site. You had, you had to have seen that. That's like I really don't recall that. Hey, you know what? I think it would stick out. This is the future. A quick Google search will stick out, literally. <laughs> we'll answer all your questions. All right, so the final one that we're going to talk about before we do our quiz for the night, which the quiz is on movies, I think. Is it? Whoops, spelled it wrong. Yeah, that was pre-show, actually. So, uh... There's the accommodator. Pretty sure that sounds like something you so tried to I do to me. For the woman who wants it all. I guess so. Pretty sure. Wow. What a bitchin' Halloween costume you could make with that. What are you talking about? The accommodator. <laughs> the chin dick. The chin dick. <laughs> there she is, Sue Johansson. <laughs> this is the world famous. Oh, I got to post this on the site. Oh, yeah. All right, so in bullying and suicides, the reason I want to bring this up, uh, well, actually the reason I decided to say it today was there was something on Bay News 9 about uh Rebecca Sedwick's family files lawsuit in bullying death. The girl who was in Polk County, I think she was 12 or 13, who uh, jumped to her death. Uh, uh, the uh, concrete bullying. place? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That girl, actually, a family member of hers, worked with me. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Older sister. Small world. Um, but Do you hate when people say that? It's small a, world. It's a pretty small, uh, smooth ride, though, right? It's a small oh. world after all. I got stuck on that thing for like four hours. How many hours? Four. It was ridiculous. I would either drown myself or Quick at least learner. attempt to swim Shit, out. I, just I was like grabbing ten, the coins maybe out of the water nine, I was eight. stuck out there. The show's going to steal the coins, he said. Fuck yeah, if I'm mm. stuck in the boat. <laughs> <You're not laughs> you know, there, as much hey, as we all hate that ride, the there is something about it. The uh, smell. Listen, it's funny because. Going on it. You always go on it. You always do. And you never have a bad time. No, the intern so you're trying to sleep later hey, that night. Last time that we went, song is just there was a big dude behind me. I mean, weird, really. <laughs> well, no. Whoa, he wasn't whoa, on top whoa. of me. But he was behind me. <laughs> but I looked back at him and I said, "We we can't sit on the same. You know, we can't sit in the same row. We can't both will not thrust at the it. same time. It so just doesn't work." So what he do? He sits on the end. I'm not stupid. I sit in the middle. The fucking boat, even with me on it, was leaning to the left. Like that's impressive. From the water. That he is was impressive. Probably about a 500 pounder. <laughs> wow. Like he's a fish. I'm he was a 500 pounder easily. So now this family is suing. Speaking of Sue, I just posted the gif of Sue Johansson with the accommodator on her chin. It's on there. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, yeah. Check it's it ridiculous. Out. It's for cocculus, even. Check that out. Get that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. The <laughs> old lady who. Old lady sexo, Sue Johansson. So the family is suing everyone involved, basically, with uh, who was uh, in charge or who was in charge. Charles, was her, of course. Harassing her daughter. Speaking of which, I, I talked to the gaff. Okay. Said it's real country up there where he's at. Yeah. Real country. Oh, country Lord. or just white? KKK country? Well, the school he's at, he said it's about, it's about 80% black. And he's like, there's a lot of interracial couples, but it's the classic black guy with like a 350-pound white woman. Wow. Like that classic. Stereotype. Ivory princess. Yes. Oh. Oh, gee. <laughs> what is it about that? They we can have him. We have to call him and see if we can get an inside scoop with that to see what that what's what it is about that. Because I mean that's that's not just something that has happened occasionally. I mean that's a thing. That's a well scientifically documented thing. The ivory princess. Maybe syndrome. we can see if MythBusters can do something. Yeah, let's about do it. it. We can have our own myth. We'll do a CO Busters. Opinion Busters. Back to the chick killing herself, the parents suing. Um, that story is absolutely disgusting because it's... Wasn't one of the moms pretending to be a kid or something? The mom says that um, suing everybody is going... It's not going to bring her daughter back, but it will help to sue everybody, each family of the kids who bullied her for $15,000 apiece. 
that won't bring peace, but it will make it better. It will bring some money. Like, Where do you come up with fifteen thousand dollars? I, I mean, it's just like such a random. If my daughter died uh, because would, of something, I'd be you know in the millions. You know, something ridiculous. Yeah, fifteen thousand no, seems thing that well because they'll frustr- probably get that much instead of going yeah, still, ten I mean, years to just, try and get that know. much. The whole million. point that's frustrating though is she said it won't bring her daughter back, but it'll make it better. Because you're getting money. Well, because what else you have? Don't, they you can't, really you can't. You can't give it. her crap for suing people for that. You no, can't. They, they didn't really get in trouble for anything else, right? None of the girls got charged no, with anything. No, as far as I know. Bullshit, because it's she not. Got arrested. But yeah, didn't they get? Arrested. They dropped. Yeah. So there was no. The bullying was. There was no punishment for it. It doesn't matter. You're gonna go sue uh, middle school girls because they bullied your daughter. Well, the parents. They I'm sure it's the parents. Your daughter so kill herself. Parents have to do she with it. chose to kill herself. I can't wait till you have a kid. They're responsible. They I can't wait till you have a kid. To go. You have no idea. Into the cement area and jump. I'm off. with you. I'm with you. It's ridiculous. They didn't but tell But you have her no idea. That. She obviously had problems. Like in her own self. I'm with you. I am a huge proponent of personal responsibility, but kids are not adults. There's, it's, it's, it's not the same thing. It's not like someone coming up to you and saying, "Well, just go kill yourself, fatty. No one loves you anyway." Kids don't know how to handle that stuff. They don't. Well, I'm not saying that. Like, I'm on both sides of the story. Like, I don't understand it. Like, I've, I've, everyone's been bullied or picked on or whatever, been made to feel shitty in their life. So why is it any different now than it was back when? I've never understood. Everyone's so happy. Well, they are. Because of social media. Bullying's worse. No, social Bullying's media is worse now. Yeah. Bullying yeah. truly is worse now. Because when you go I, home from I, school, if you got bullied, uh, you didn't sit there and read on your computer all these people just There's there nowhere to escape down. it. There's nowhere to escape kid. it anymore. It wasn't escaped. It's constantly I guess that's in your when head. you go back to the next day and you don't get bullied anymore. Well, I bet you got bullied a lot when you were a kid, right? You were a big boy, right? Are you saying I that because bullied. bad? You didn't get yeah, bullied? Here's the I'm difference. I'm fucking twice the size of anybody in school. How it doesn't matter. Because you're so quiet. Don't, and so see, don't even lie and say anybody. you never got picked on. Come on. I, I got bullied when I was Everyone young. gets picked on. Well, I mean, Everyone I does. I had shit said to me, but like nothing that if I put my foot down on it and, and stood up for myself, it wasn't going to turn yeah, Well, no one was going to move you okay, put your foot no, on it's it. It's just like girls, like especially no, girls. That. And, and it's know, also different for girls. No, who they want to cut their wrists and then yeah, but that's, post that's pictures that's, of that's their not cuts bullying. on social that's, media. That's just them attention. being stupid. Yeah, that's exactly. attention. That's it's ridiculous. No, and uh, yeah, but suicide's not about attention. Well, Successful suicide. I mean, Here's the big thing. Like you said, back when we were kids, well, you guys are younger than me, but we didn't have iPads. We didn't have... Uh, people getting their heads chopped off that I can look up on the internet. Yeah, but life must have been boring had, for you. Uh, you know, <laughs> what did you no, do with your like time? Uh, well, <laughs> you know. Dude, we had text-based websites where we could look up movies and, and pictures of I movies. I mean, Commodore 64. What the? F- uh, I mean, <laughs> I'll melt the ice dial wizard. Up, you know, you, come on. Dial I didn't up. see all this shit you see now, so that's why it's so much different. Well, you know, it is different. when I was in school, I did not get along with anybody I went to high school with, and. Uh, Nobody liked me, really, for whatever reason. And you know what I did? Instead of killing myself, I went to a different school. Okay, that's you. Not that everyone has that opportunity. Sucks. Yeah, I was going to say, not everyone has that option. Not everyone can do that. I mean, it's not difficult. If your <laughs> child is struggling, you literally just up, you're struggling made enough, it sound like point. everyone in the universe is exactly the same. Everyone can deal with with social interactions and bullying and, and stress well, if the parents, easily. Did the parents have no idea? That she was being bullied? Did they not try to help? Do you know, what is one common no, thing? They, they, they what is, right, school. Yeah, that they, may they be, but what is one schools. common thing you almost invariably hear when someone kills themselves, kills themselves from their friends or family? I had no idea. He well, never said anything. Yeah, that's usually a true suicide. The people that want attention are the ones that cut Not the, the people who that, yeah. you know. try to kill themselves, but the people who successfully kill themselves. They don't say anything. Hey, they're hurting on the inside. They I don't mean, let it show. It's my sister, which well, she's not going to hear this, but... She, about four years ago, when the Twitter thing was real big, when it started out, I, I followed her on Twitter, and then I saw her conversations. Fuck this. Fuck that. Yeah, you, you never, never see that in people. Word from her mouth. Yeah. You never, she was a completely different person behind my parents' back. She did, they did not know the shit that she was saying and doing. And she is ultimately, in the last few years, she's taken Benadryl and stuff like that, and, and she's cut herself, I've heard. And yeah, people, no one's known about people it. People deal with stuff differently. It's it's yeah. not as easy to say, deal with it, move on, go to a different school, get new friends. It's not that she, simple. She did it go isn't. to a different school, and they were still harassing her after she moved oh, to a different why? school. Yeah. Yeah, online. online. Why? 
What do you want? Does it matter? I mean, social media. I mean, if, I if your daughter came every home, every single middle schooler's life. Everyone handles it differently, like they say. And back in the day, come on, you can't think of that one kid in school from when you were in school that everyone picked on. You just yeah, but out sometimes. did I kill Even myself because I was picked on, or because? No, that's totally different. I mean, I just think that. I, I don't know. So I were you picked you. on all day, every day, at school, you. at home, on the internet, when that you go outside, when you talk to people on the phone? Did that happen to you? I, I was picked on a lot, okay? Okay, but did you ever thing have thing. release, escape from it? you were the only white girl Yeah, it school? was called my headphones. It was called listening to my iPod, yeah, walking with my uh, headphones. I, I think you're mistaking, I think you're mistaking my intern. I think you're mistaking what I'm saying for condoning suicide and understanding why someone There's would kill no themselves. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. Was she 14? Yeah. No. I'm not saying that she should have killed herself. But what I'm saying is not everyone is equipped to handle that stuff. They're not. That's okay. why we have psychiatrists. That's why we back, have mental hospitals. Okay, back to the whole point of this about me thinking that it's bull that the parents saying, oh, suing these other families, is not it's going to help. It's going to help to get money from these families. That's what I think is Yeah, the it's going to make them suffer consequences yeah, for their they, actions. They didn't, like I said before, they didn't have any kind Nothing of... Nothing happened They got arrested and then got dropped. They didn't have any kind of consequences for being these extreme bullies that led someone to kill themselves. So now, now I'm going to so be telling the, my the kids, don't bully nobody because I might get sued. No, I'm going to tell my kid, don't bully anyone because I'm going to beat the shit out of you if you bully that's someone. That's what I would teach no, my kid. I think that suing somebody over bullying is absolutely... I mean, I know that there are extreme... Kids Although my daughter's pretty big, but, people, but to say I'm going to end this see, argument with saying we'll see how you feel if you ever have a daughter that kills herself because of bullying. Oh, well, thank you. That's really No, I'm saying I love it would be totally different. The only other thing I was going to say on this was that the uh, attorneys said if the property's perimeter fence was properly in place, the 12-year-old would not have access to the so ladder the city. To the cement tower. Yeah, that was kind of weird. So like now she they're, was able they're to go up in it on... The place as well. If you really want to go up there, you'll find a way yeah. up there, though. Not a 12-year-old girl, though. If you girl, really want to kill yourself, you're not going to be like, dang, the fence is up. Guess I'll uh, kill myself another day. Maybe I'll put it off. I find a bridge or a car or something. Figure it out. Well, whatever. she successfully did the first time. I think what happens with time, people so. is, though, like when, they, uh, when bullies find someone who's, who takes it. I hate bullies. When they find someone who takes it, regardless, they stick it to that person yeah. like consistently like well, you just don't let nature. go until that person breaks that's basically. human nature have you ever have you ever had something that bothers you and someone will bring it up or do something like you have a four inch dick yeah yeah that but we're doing it though, we're right? doing it, to no, e it I, even if it mine yeah but so. show even if it did bother you you'd know we were doing it to be funny well you know what no, i mean well, we're not doing it to be I hurtful or make you work. feel like shit i personally think of stuff at work there's this cunt Oh, wow, see that's Tuesday. Tuesday. I think that's the first see time that's that works Tuesday. Well, no. She's a cunt. All right, and see you next Tuesday She purposely fucks with me at work to see if she can get a rise out of me. And I don't mean a four-inch rise. I mean <laughs> me fucking, nice. like, losing my cool. And then I'm going to lose my job over her. Yeah, so then she's a shithead. I had, I had she's a doing it with she's ulterior she motives. She she's being a purpose. bitch. So that's the kind of thing. If people know something bothers you, they'll stick it to you. And let's be fair. Let's be realistic. Kids are terrible. Oh, no, they're fucked up these days. Kids are horrible. Sure. They've always been terrible. Yeah, I, I think, I think of some of the like picking on and bullying that I saw when I was growing up in school. Who's and I can't believe my age. What I'm 33. I, mean, I guess when but I was in be school, the, closest. the worst thing I ever had to worry about was somebody waiting out by my car or the bus stop to try and kick my ass. Yeah, you get beat up. That was Nowadays, it. Nowadays, now they want you to kill yourself. You get shot, or, or you're going to get jumped by four or five oh, people. Yeah. It's way different. In my day, hey, back in my day. Was that was that you that did that? No, yes. Okay. What did you do? <laughs> we, oh God. We can have an old character on the show. <laughs> oh, you want me to be Ned? Is Ned. It, we can Ned have our own Ned. Ned Mandingo the fourth. I just thought of a story, um, which was actually in elementary school. Um, I'm not religious. My mom is not religious, and I will make you a drink. I'll get it. Calm down. No, I'll get it. Wait, you know how to make your own drink? Uh, look, wow. star of the show. Oh, that's weird. Jeez. Star of the show is rock starring everyone. Princess, so, princess, come back. So these kids knew that I, me and my mom were religious. So they hung a cross off my mailbox and called me Satan for about a year. See, that's messed up. How old were they? Well, we were in elementary school. Think about that. That's so. elementary school. That's insanity. Yeah. I mean, it, and it just got Kids are terrible. Kids... 
have the potential to be so terrible. It's it's crazy because you don't different. You don't think of kids doing things that are like straight up evil and vindictive. Yeah, it's awful. Did you guys read that story? I'm gonna wait till Joyce gets back. Remind me to tell you the story about the schoolyard stabbing. Did you guys hear about this? Joyce, get back in here. Please. But what I was saying earlier about the bullying is that um, it's not always kids. Sometimes some I've read stories where parents of children are going on Facebook, creating fake accounts, pretending to be kids, and they're making fun of people until they kill themselves. Wow. These are parents. Like, that's crazy. Get a life. How rotten are you that you're going to try and ruin a kid's life? Can you imagine being yeah, that effed up? Stuff on TV that, uh, Can't hear you. Can you guys joke around about my websites here? Because there's stuff that you don't see. I mean, there's one where this guy is in an orphanage. It's over, like, somewhere in Russia. Russia. And he is abusing, it's pitiful, he's abusing Oh, beating kids. the hell out of kids. kids. are going to grow up to fucking kill Murder people. Murder people, yeah. Because of what they're being done by either their peers oh. or whatever. Did you see the video? It was somewhere, it was like China, but this woman was like on a bed and there was a toddler, like a little baby, like probably a oh, year, No, 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 I've half. seen that and she's and beating she the beat shit the out of it. And she the crap out of him, threw him around and the baby, w- and then someone that. was sitting there videotaping it for like five minutes. Yeah, they were laughing. There's people in yeah. the background, there's somebody sitting there, I saw that. I saw that. It made me cry, man. It literally did because it's a that's a baby, man. Yeah. And, and then she they're was just beating it up and especially when you have one. Oh, I saw that. They they caught her. I wasn't paying attention. Did you hear did that? You see that? Yeah, where she was like smacking it yeah, and like threw it up against the wall. The they the caught her. They took the kid away from her. Really? Think about yeah, I read up on that story. Person's brain, oh, she's what nuts. They're doing. Nuts. She's nuts. You just made me think of something that's is bad. I, I don't know where the video's at, but it was in the I think it was the Philippines because my wife showed me the video and they said that they're, they're everybody's after these two or there's like three girls they had this puppy and they put him on oh, the ground and they kept kicking him and they're walking in circles and they were laughing and and they were kicking him and kicking God, him, people and suck. On him and the last part of the video they were all standing on it and just squirming their toes on it and this thing was it yeah, they're probably laughing not laughing the hard she nipples and and she, she posted it and kids. said that everybody Peep. it's an outrage you know what they're, they're tracking it they're gonna find I out who it is people so suck people are pissed at them but think about it. why the fuck would you even do that, and why would you film? Because you're messed up. And you know what I mean. So there's something wrong with you. Is this it's is it's a story I was telling you about before that I was waiting until you came back for. I don't know if you heard this about nine. This is the worst. I read this and the grandmother story in one day. My day has been ruined today. I need to drink myself to sleep. Mm. Nine-year-old boy repeatedly stabbed by twelve-year-old at a Michigan playground, ran screaming to his home and collapsed, bleeding on his porch before dying in a hospital That's short in Grand time Rapids. Later. That's where I was born. It was in Michigan, yeah. All right, so uh, witnesses said a 12-year-old boy went to a nearby home after Monday evening attack on his kid's name was Michael something, Michael Verkakirk, called 911 calmly, turning himself in, and then tried to flag down the officers when they arrived. 12-year-old pleaded not guilty to murder charges in juvenile court. Uh, let's see. Let me get the witness. He could get off an insanity for being like a kid or something like that. Or yeah. You know, when he's 18. Basically, there's witnesses that say they have no idea why he did it. He just out of nowhere came back with a knife and stabbed this kid until he ran home bleeding and died. Imagine seeing your kid come home bleeding, stabbed. And, ugh, terrible. But this this is the thing that drove me nuts about this story. Pleaded not guilty is what his lawyer ended up doing. I is is the concept? All the time they do that. I, this is what blows my mind, though. Is the concept of justice dead? Isn't a lawyer's function to ensure that you get a fair trial and punishment fitting the crime, not to get you off? Well, defense lawyer, technically, their job is to no. get you off. Yeah. D- the, well, that's a prostitute's no, job, off. but. <laughs> A lawyer's job is just to ensure that you get a fair trial, that you don't get taken advantage of, you don't get thrown up the river yeah, for stealing true. a loaf of bread. But it seems like every time you hear these stories where someone murders someone or something terrible happens, it's always not guilty, not guilty, not guilty. Like, whatever happened to, okay, you did it. Own up. I'm, you're not going to get away with this. And sometimes how, how that might you get you a lower a sentence. That does that Isn't that sick? You know they're guilty. This is a story where a kid did it. There's witnesses. Called that on himself, turned himself in. How is that person allowed to plead not guilty? That I don't understand that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Well, okay, kind of like uh, the local trial here. Uh, he just got life in prison, that Richard McTeer. Oh, the yeah, baby, yeah, yeah. Uh, the dude who Guy threw the baby the out the window, yeah. I mean, they make deals. Yeah, but can you, okay, his defense lawyer, you know he did it. He basically yeah. said he did it, but, like, you have to go into it 
with the mindset that getting him off. He's he's innocent. Yeah, you have to go on the mindset. You're pleading not guilty, which means I didn't do it. Yeah, no. it's insanity. Anyway, all right. So we'll let's be move on to something more pleasant and fun. We'll be starting yeah. our quiz here very shortly all once right. the intern comes back. We uh, gotta get a wireless mic so that we can talk on location in the bathroom. No more pauses. Oh Jesus, it's yeah. good stuff. Be awesome. Yeah. That remind me of I'll bulldog. Mex- yeah, I will eat Mexican say, food old, every uh, show. Old fashioned photos that you'd get every oh, once in yeah. a while. No, show used to send those too. Oh, send I'm photos from the bathroom. Those. Wait a second. What about the one that you sent? I don't remember. Dude, you got yourself taking a shit. Yeah, I remember that. He showed it to me. Well, you looked at me like you don't remember that. Really? You were all proud of it. Was it a video? You took your fucking iPhone and you put it between your legs, and all I saw was shit. <laughs> <laughs> you were oh, oh, yeah, I remember that. You yeah. were hovering. Yeah, legend. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. stuff of legend. That was Thanks. a long time ago. Uh, let's see, until she comes back. So, another positive thing for the show. Wow, let's talk about um, happy things. We, uh, other than the one show at. Uh, Roller derby. For the roller derby, uh, we have the the potential to, for us to be able to get on hopefully one of the first Saturdays on a Cat Named Mo show. On oh yeah, the, this is good news. On Saturdays on 1025. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have the uh, the potential to be like a guest on a show. Uh, on the bone, real raw radio. I, I mean, I, that show I listen to pretty much all day. I mean, on whatever. Saturdays. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's the Bone Daily Rewind at yeah. night where they talk about all the shows before. Yeah, which which they've mentioned our name before. Uh, their uh, Cat Nemo. I mean, he follows us on Twitter. When I talk to him, there's been some stuff that he said on there. It's on, exciting. On Hopefully, the it happens. Be Are you going to be able to filter for the air? Absolutely. Oh, we we we're all right. Absolutely. I try not to curse. Or, I mean, every once in a while when I'm talking about kids getting killed, I'm going to drop an F-bomb. But yeah, yeah, no. It, I, I, I would say I have a pretty easy easygoing filter. It's, dude, really. it's not fucking well, no, hard at all. Say, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, can, I can say stuff here, and then, you know, what I don't understand is how, like, on Bubba and on, like, Shannon Burke, who do podcasts or do satellite radio, things like that, where then they do a show five minutes yeah, later. Don't. Five minutes later... It's on uncensored. satellite and it's uncensored. Like, right. That's got to be pretty hard. Yeah. Like, where just, are you at right now? It's just the, when you're on the roll already, you just save it up. You make a mental note. You put a little check mark. And, and right, you blow I'm going to blast off on the radio. All right. So, uh, we're going to be quiz starting time? the uh, quiz. Quiz time. Uh, we got uh, two mics over on that <clears throat> side. Two mics over on this side. Uh, I already wrote down the uh, names. As you can see, uh, Liege. Uh, is on there. Yeah, it's right there where it uh, says Joyce. Uh, Liege, McBride, Grimace, and Show. I like the way that, that worked out. Liege, McBride. I can get used to that. That sounds good. Oh, Liege, McBride. All right, yeah, we're going to switch it up. McBride, Liege. All right, so we got everyone on there? Yeah, everybody ready for the quiz? Uh, will you will you say the name of the quiz uh, again? We can't right? hear you, Show. Yeah, I can't hear you. Speaking to the mic. No, no, I mean aim it right. this way. How about now? There, you there go. it is. Speaking to the front of the mic, not the side. All right, I so. Like the side better. Can you guys hear me? He likes your, to go uh, up and down the side. Right? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Well, so listeners, some listeners. Some of us have headphones Shh. and some of us don't. Everyone. It, yeah, but something like this is not going to matter. Shh. Everyone, hold on. Okay. Hold on, intern. What? Listeners, listen. Can you hear that? That's the intern's boobs. The mic is right on them. I have right a question. Now. What is, Why is he your whispering hand about? in your pocket? You're saying the they can hear your boobs. Avid listeners are all listening to your breasts right now. Um, <laughs> which is which he said they're going to be triple D's here soon. <laughs> what he said. Um, the so you are having oh, a hey, kid. It's like a, no, it's like a pig in a blanket right yeah. now. Oh hey, a pig in a blanket deal. Kick it out wide, Willie equals payday Jones. You know, what? he had his two-year-old say that the other day. Yeah, oh, that's I, I great. I had to say kick it out wide, Willie equals payday Jones. It took that's a great. while, but kind of got it. Did you All get right. it on tape? We need no, that on the website. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Oh yeah. I, Title of the the deal here is name the movie when given three words about the movie that can't be from the title or actor, director, or character names. Okay, okay makes disclaimer sense. Disclaimer right off the bat. Okay. Into the front of the mic. We can't hear you. Joyce Liege, whatever he wants to be today. Liege. Has like three hundred and fifty movies right here on his wall. All he does is watch movies. You can't hear me. Now I can. No, Maybe that's can't not. Hear you. Holy shit. How many? That's Maybe nothing. 300. I have way more. That's okay. not all he does. I have way more than that. I own That's zero fine. DVDs. So, once again, wrestling last week. Who won? So you never watch movies? You don't have to own movies oh, to know movies. On. Watch. Okay, no, I will call it right are, now. No, these are, this is good Winner. stuff. 
I uh, I don't How know. How dare you? I don't know. I, I almost think beat him on be wrestling. I think if I lose on movies, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> we have a live suicide tonight. Sorry. At the after show. <laughs> The consummate opinion after show, we but probably the opinion suicide. So what do we do? Just yeah, yell it? Find a good sports one. Wait, okay. how is this going to happen with we'll you? We just yell the answer. Well, these two we're can We're just share. yelling. Okay. We'll, we'll you we'll understand the rules? Get a little closer. Get a little closer. All right. Me and McBride will tag team Grimace. Yeah. Oof. Wow, actually, hey, actually, Grimace is going skiing where he's at right yeah. now. I'm going to have to. Actually, Captain Boucher went skiing last week. He grabbed both legs and started going like this. I'm going to have to bail off the mountain. All right, so first one. Is this You're legit or is this test? This is legit. All right. Your first three words are murder, shower. Psycho. Yes. Fuck me, man. I almost said it. No, well, I, I see where this so quiz is going way, tonight. Yeah. If he yells something, how many we'll are there? Yeah, how many are there? Uh, 20? Yeah, how many? There's not a lot. All right, good. That's There's not a, a lot. Good, There's solid number. So Maybe like 20. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one. Congratulations. Okay, second one. Teenager. DeLorean. Back to future. Ah, 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 it's not happening, boys. All right. It's not fair. Ryan I won't allow you to get one. Uh, prison, poster, library. Shawshank Redemption. Damn it. And McBride again. I got this one, guys. Come on, Joyce. What are you doing? At leash, and uh, he's not doing well. All right. Gangs, musical. Chicago. The, the, the crappy uh, <laughs> Newsies. Uh, Gangsters of New York. Something of New York. No. Well, we all guess. Yeah, we all guess. What do you got? West Side Story. Oh, well, that was not even close. Yeah, I don't watch stupid movies. What well, musical? I just threw Actually, out Actually, Newsies is pretty close to that. Newsies is pretty bad. Okay. Um, hacker. Chosen. Ne unplugged. Matrix. I almost said Neo like an idiot. Can we just Neo. Had you said that, I would have got yeah, it. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, okay. Uh, <coughs> Austria singing family. Sound of music. Schindler's List, he says. <laughs> what I don't know, man. It's the sound of music. Yeah. McBride Austria McBride. family singing. Schindler's <laughs> List. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, McBride at five. Everyone Best answer yet. Zero. Um, criminals, <laughs> mastermind, limp. Usual suspect. McBride. I'm just going to put my mic down. Are you down. guys yeah. even so playing? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Have you already seen this? <laughs> no. I've seen all these movies. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and you're bitching to me about the movies I have. Movies so is my thing. Smoke I love movies. Smoke. I, think, oh, yeah. all right, I bet guys, you will smoke guys, us. Guys, guys. I know the answer. So you like it. Archaeologist. Indiana Jones. Jurassic Park. Indiana, Park uh, Indiana Jones. Whip. Indiana Jones. Indiana I already Jones. said it. Covenant. Which Raiders of the Lost Ark. You're welcome. McBride. What was that? It's called <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Are you ready, guys? Real Born and hard. raised. Dogs. Kiss. Lady and Tramp. Lady and Tramp. Woo! I'll high five you that. You got that one. Killed it. Lady and the Tramp. I couldn't get Halloween. spaghetti out of my mind. <laughs> spaghetti was the third word. Um, Christmas. Bankrupt. Angel. Uh, a Wonderful know, Life. A Wonderful Life. That's yes. it. Actually, it's called It's a Wonderful Life. Point oh, goes to McBride. Let's oh. just give it, <laughs> give it to McBride. At this point. Or, I'm sorry, give it to <laughs> At Leash. this point, it doesn't matter, I don't think. Okay. Leg. Lamp. Christmas story. Rider, yes. Red Rider BB gun. You shoot your eye out. Adios. I'll shoot your eye out, kid. Adios, Bart. Okay, this one I've never heard of before. <laughs> Cambodia. Napalm. Surfing. Um... Uh, apocalypse now. Yes. Boom goes the dynamite. You guys should all be embarrassed. <laughs> oh, you I'm not embarrassed. Compared to, to some of, compared to some of these, are you smarter than a Hooter Gold quiz? Hey, I win most hey, of those. it's movies. We've seen movies. Coming from a guy who sees, owns over 300 of them, reportedly. All right. Crop, Duster, Rushmore. Huh? Never heard of this one either. That was three? Yeah. Crop. 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 Duster. Duster. Rushmore. Rushmore. Secondhand Lions. I can't even give you more hints because I've no idea what this is. Crop. Field of Dreams. No. Duster. Signs. No. Crop Hold duster. on. Is it Crop Duster or Crop? crop and Duster. I crop, crop and Duster. duster. Work every week. So Duster's a jacket. <laughs> crop. Duster and Rushmore. Rushmore. All right. Five. Four. Oh, we don't know. You can just Not say that it. Not that. All right. It's called North by Northwest. Oh, that's an old Hitchcock yeah. film. Okay. There's Nope. 
Sorry. All right. The duster. It, it is crop duster. But it's I do the like plane. It. It's a crop duster. Well, it's it's chasing. Oh. Had you said that, I probably Crop duster elevator. You know, either way. All right. Fen- Newspaper. Phenom. Sled. Xanadu. Uh, I know this one. I already know it. I'm going to give you guys five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Rosebud. It's Citizen Kane. What is it? McBride has Citizen Kane. ten. Leash has two. Oof. And is uh, that it? Grimace and Show. Hey, what's that no, industry term in wrestling for just a, a slobber knocker, a beat down? What's that called? A squash? This is a squash. I'm really jobbing out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Mexico, stinking badges. Oh, uh, Casa- you know, Stinking with the slang, little. Casablanca. No. Really? We don't need no stinking badges. Isn't that from Casablanca? Stinking. Not stinking. Badges? Stinking. We badges. don't need no stinking badges. Come on, I mean, that's the movie. I, I can't remember the name Mexico of it. and oh, badges. badges. Uh, what's the name? He's looking at what's you, kid. What's the Spanish word for no, no. mom again? Madre. Yeah. What, what were you going to say? It doesn't matter. How are you going to say that? What? How are you going to say are that? Are you guys done? I don't know it. So I think Los it's... Los Amigos. Well, no, I, I know. Three Amigos. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. It's Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, mean, I legitimately didn't know that. I mean, I know that line. We don't need no stinking badges. We've all, right. all heard that. Yeah. Mobsters, musicians, and wigs. Chicago? Nope. I know what this is. This is a movie with the guys from The Odd Couple Chicago, in it. I just isn't watched this. With chicks in prison? So, I mean, you know. What do you get? Oh, I just watched this. It's the second time. It's with the two guys, Tony something. They dress up like women to escape the mob from. Are they th- hot women? No, no, no. They no? dress up like women and they play in a women's band. I just watched this movie. No shit. It's not what Some Like It Hot. What is it again? Mobsters? It is mobsters, musicians, and wigs. Wait, it is Some Like It Hot. Is it? Some Like It Hot. It's some like it hot. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was the first thing he said. Marilyn Monroe's yeah, in that goes, movie. It's, it's a good not movie. Some like it hot. That's what he said. I did say that, but then I was like, "Yes, you idiot! It is that movie." I'm gonna go. Some like it's hot. No, oh, that's right. actually not the good movie. <laughs> Spaceship, <laughs> computer. Spaceballs 3000. Uh, emotions. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, is that Apollo. Damn it. No. no Spaceship, uh, computer, emotions. Yes. The first part is 2001. Space Odyssey? Yes. What did I say? Spaceballs? 3000? Yeah, you did. I, it's this not a real movie. Really I can't wait till it comes out, quiz. though. This is embarrassing for all. We need to find a quiz you all Well, know. then you find a quiz on Sporkle after this. Yeah, there you go. All right. Ugh. Detective Future Replicants. Oh, I know this. It's one of my favorite movies. I could give you guys an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'll even tell you who's in it. Rutger right. Hauer. Harrison Ford, directed by Stanley Kubrick. Dude, that's sick, man. Clockwork Dude. Orange? No. no. You, you know got what I'd really like to do is run more. Actually, it wasn't. This isn't a Kubrick movie. I'd love movie. to I'm run sorry. more. I need oh, to get into shape. Me up. Yeah. Anyone? The Fugitive? It's sharp. God, you guys, what is it's it? sharp Blade Runner. I don't even know why I try to give hints. You guys, <laughs> it's everything. Great well, have you ever seen that movie? No. Oh, what great movie. Blade Runner. Yes. It's Blade Runner. It's an awesome movie. We can stop marking. It's actually that. based <laughs> on the short film, short story called "Do Androids Dream okay. of Electric Sheep?" Okay, you all have a too. chance to get this. You all have like two-year-olds and. All right, babies. I got a baby. We all have babies. Scare floor, screams and energy. What? What? Come on. What's the first word? Fantasia. Are you? F- are you kidding me? What is me? the first word? And Scare energy. floor. Tell me, you know this. You what the know? hell is a scare oh, floor? Scare Monster floor? Inc. Yes. Holy oh, shit. Oh, scare floor. It? Dang it. Oh, no, oh, yeah. I know Actually, it. Monster Inc. is a really cool movie. Yeah. You know, it's a good movie. I know it because what? when I went to that, I was they fucking put the camera on me and said that so oh, the oh, joke thing. Disney? I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to participate. Oh, on the comedy show? Yeah, that was so yeah, yeah. cute. Uh, I got one. Good for you. You got it. Shut out. Okay. I'm still beating you. I don't think Grimace is playing anymore. Are you ready? (laughs) Are you ready? Born and raised. Joyce, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. This means Joyce knows it. Listen. Wood chipper. Fargo. Murder. God damn it. Can you get anything, Joyce? That's actually a really good series. I like that series. Is it? I haven't seen it yet. It's awesome. The movie's great. 
Show's good. Can I just stop marking? I mean, you're at. What's the point? Well, I mean, we gotta go. We gotta keep going. I mean, yeah, we might as well finish the quiz. Mm. <laughs> All right, Iran hostages movie. Um, it's the movie with Ben oh, that's Affleck. That's the one with Ben Affleck. I get half a point if you if it's Argo. Like, yes. I get half a point. Goddamn it! I knew who the actor was. <laughs> Does it really matter? No. That's interesting that Argo is after Fargo. It's actually Argo, Argo then Fargo. I just oh, did it backwards. Gotcha. Uh, Vietnam, Russian roulette. Oh, the Deer Hunter. Uh, the Deer Hunter. Gotcha. McBride with six. Er, Deer Hunter, the one I'm sorry, McBride has 16. Not he wasn't at 19. It's a close one still. Anyway. Someone could wedge. Um. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For third place. Are you ready? Yep. yep. Alien. I'm not even going to say all three of them. I'm just going to say two. Alien, home. E.T. The extraterrestrial. Let me guess. The third one's phone. It is. <laughs> Can I get something for that uh, helping okay. on the Okay. Good work. Oh, my God. This is so ridiculous. I don't even want to read it. Dinosaurs. Seas. Dead. The Dead Sea Scrolls. People. What? Can't even do this anymore. Seas yes, the dead. sixth sense. Oh, I was thinking seas oh, like the ocean. Like, yeah, I thought yeah. it was ocean. Hello, yeah. Grimace, say it so it's on record. I'm on the board. How about the answer? Oh, the sixth sense. He got it. He got it. All right. Kansas. Where's the boss? I got it. Oh, I said it first. Oh, I was in there. I'll give it to you. Okay. Clownfish. Nemo. Oh, I got the whole one. Come on, you know on Sporkle they accept that. Nemo? I don't know what Nemo is. Ask uh, a kid what that movie's called. Yeah. yeah. Ask Nemo. any kid on the planet Earth what that I've movie's called. It's Nemo. I'll, 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 right. I'll give it to him. 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 I am. 18 to 3. What is best in life? To crush your enemies, to okay. hear the lamentation of the women and see them driven before you. Are you ready? No. Head. Yeah. Spin. <laughs> Exorcist. Exorcist. Good work. Possessed was the last word. Head. Yes. Leash finally <laughs> has five <laughs> points. How many you get? Everyone, everyone There's in the room was left. picturing a BJ. That's what happened there. There's three left. Pamela okay. Anderson sex tape. <laughs> Brothers. Gambling. Oh, brother, out, out, out. No. <laughs> and I don't want to say this word because if I say it wrong, I'm Brothers. Ga oh, Phenom. Oh, no, yeah. Phenom. <laughs> Please say it. <laughs> Savant. Savant. It's called Rain Man. <laughs> Savant. It's it was closer than Phenom. I'm going to give you that. <laughs> Giant ape love. King Kong. King Kong. <laughs> King Kong. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been Congo because wasn't that ape? That's true. Oh. Amy, Amy says goodbye. Ears, elephant, fly. Dumbo. Dumbo. I'll give it to Joyce. Leash. All right, so oh, leash. ending the game, McBride <laughs> with... 19, Liege with six. Wow. Grimace and Show coming in last with one we, each. You don't have to say last. We know hey, wait, 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 hold on. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say you tied for third, but you tied for fourth. Yeah, they tied for fourth. He actually well, I got a half point for, for Argo, so that makes you technically. Show's pulling the three and a half. <laughs> It's even That's worse. That's not even right. Are man. you finding another quiz? Right, I don't well know I, how to search for this on here. Listeners, uh, okay, what so is a topic that you guys all would agree on? What about music? All right, I mean, we can do music. Don't do new. No, I'm, you no. can't kill me on music. I don't, it's kind of gay. I don't to the it's too br we listen to country. Yeah, like he said. So I guess right, we'll just so do a quiz next week then. Yeah, we'll do, we'll that. do another That's one. Fine. We'll find a good one. One that we can all agree on. More mm -hmm. evenly balanced. I th I thought that would be. I did I, too. I mean, with the wrestling, I you know all of us have watched wrestling. And Wait I mean, a second. I didn't have a microphone to hold on to. So There's I'm a difference okay. between watching wrestling and wanting to bang the wrestlers. That's true. And you two are like it's in a their shorts. thin. Okay, I it's would a thin line. You. I mean, wow. No, you would not. Ouch. Wow. Wrestling. Okay. All right. I'm going to find another wrestling yeah. quiz, and I'm going to have it between the Do two it, of them. A I'm pretty gonna decent, not super hard, but yeah, like. Yeah. Pretty. Well, I'll help you. We'll find it. We'll we'll make we'll make one. If it was one from like say ten years ago. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Who is the real American? Watching it when we were younger. No, he doesn't know that. Okay. Really? What, what wrestler is known as the Phenom? The, the what? The Phenom. What? what? The Phenom? I don't think oh, the Phenom. Oh, Undertaker. Such dicks. That's the Undertaker. The Phenom. The Phenom. When did that come about? 
about 1991. Yeah, definitely not into the wrestling, so. Yeah, well, I knew that. The one. excellence the of the human phenom. The excellence of execution. Best was, best ever will be. Blank stare. Got nothing? The hitman. No, I, I bet you I could get it. Hitman. I bet you you could do. I bet you he I could get it. He had a stroke. My heart hurts heart. about this. He got it. He got it. He did have a, a stroke, stroke, right? Two. Two strokes? My Two strokes, actually. My heart hurts about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so like I said, uh, we're going to have a show next week. Hopefully, we can get Black Silk on and Jay. That'll be cool. Yep. That'll be next a week. He should be here. Show. Wait, what is Jay's deal on here? Why do you want him? Because he's my friend. Mm. And he's, oh, in, okay. he's in the band, The Almost. Okay. <laughs> now, what kind of music is okay. that? Music superstar. Yeah. <laughs> music superstar. It's Christian rock. Christian rock. Which means that we can't be talking about penises. Yes, and you absolutely can. Is he like, is he... Why like couldn't that? we? Is he, I mean, how is he? Is he super He's religious? friends with me. Okay, I know him. Uh, I don't know him, but uh, when I was in high school, a whole bunch of people in my school. He's friends with me. That they Relax. Would to, his band would be at the church. He'll be and fine. They'd all hang out and do a deal at the church. And so she I'm just deal. wondering. Cool. I, I, did, did the listeners know where the microphone's at for the intern? Well, yeah, we already talked about that. Well, yeah, we but said it's still a there. It's still like. It's resting it's comfortably. Got, it's got nowhere to go. It's moving slowly up and down, <laughs> heaving. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, so I guess until right, so, uh, Yeah, week. until next time, and then, uh, yeah. and then I don't know if we'll have another one after that before the Maybe we'll get deal. you calling uh, while you're on vacation. Well, you're not going out of town. It's in September. That's, that's in like right. a month. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. in like a month. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out something.